We got married four years ago, and we kind of met playing volleyball through a group of friends at our church. And I like running and biking and, and doing anything outdoors. Climbing and mountain biking and adventuring. We had kind of this idea that we wanted to go to Thailand or to go somewhere. We're very adventurous, so it was kind of easy for us to just quit our jobs and go and, and do that. But for other people, that's probably a bigger, for them to have something on their heart but to actually take steps towards it. It seems like it's difficult for that to happen, and so that's, I feel like, something that God's put on my heart is to help people get past their fears, help them take some steps. I see mobilization as an equipping of people who already have the, the seed planted from God, that, that He's already spoke His mandate into our hearts and in, in His Word, that we're called to go and, and make Him known among the nations. Um, and so mobilization is, is a way that we can unleash that in people. For us, mobilizing, we've helped start a perspectives course at our church, and so we get a lot of opportunities there to talk with people, hang out with people, and then also just the logistics part of making the class happen. And we think that that's a big part of mobilizing. We're seeing a lot of students learning more about God's heart for the nation and, and just learning lots of cool things and getting excited about what God's doing around the world. Another area is just we're involved at the college ministry at our church and so we're meeting tons of students and lots of them are interested in traveling or have a heart for ending sex trafficking or ending human slavery and so we just see those as kind of ways to step in and connect with where they're at, what's on their heart and trying to help them see that God's heart is for human slavery to end as well and to help point them to Him to seek to end that. We cook a lot of Thai food and invite friends over. <laughs> Just even, even like some of the random yeah. meetings she has with college students, she'll cook Thai food. We loved the food and, and that helped us Really, even with relationships in Thailand, it helped us um, connect with the culture and the people when they saw that we embraced their food, even though we're sweating. <laughs> the, they, you know, they appreciated our efforts to know and know them and, and embrace their culture. So, food was a, was a big part of our our trip while we're in Thailand, and maybe even more so now. We chose to be mobilizers because we felt that need personally. When we left for Thailand, our church didn't have a missions department or a missions pastor or anyone that we could speak with or bounce ideas off of or pray with before we went. Um, and so coming back, we see mobilization at our church really as an important way to connect people um, with the resources they need, whether that's people, organizations, books, um, literature, um, and just in prayer and so we've been really blessed by all the different ways that God's been working in and around us that we didn't even know about. Mm -hmm.